What is going on, everyone? Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, uh, just welcome to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. So today we're gonna get into the PCV valve issue that it kind of plagues the third gen, specifically the 3.5 engine. Um, if you look online, you'll see enough engines that on an incline or on a, like a slope where it's not inclined up and down, but like sloped side to side. Um, a lot of engines have blown or people have caught it before they blow. Uh, it's a lot of like gray smoke starts coming out. It's actually kind of, it's not really white, it's not really blue, it's more grayish, like thick smoke. It's basically oil getting burned in the combustion chamber. So what ends up happening with our third gens when they're on a big slope, it's like there's too much oil gets pushed into the valve cover. Uh, what ends up happening is I guess there's an issue with the drain whole size, like they're too small, and it can't get enough of it down into the bottom of the pan quick enough, right? It can't drain out fast enough. So what ends up happening is it fills up too much, it gets sucked into the PCB system, and then that shoves it into the intake, right? So then if you're shoving straight oil into the intake, it's going down into the you know combustion tank where it's not going to combust. So that creates two different issues. We've had people blow engines because it's like a hydro lock and they smash it, or it's starving the bottom of the engine, so none of you know none of the bottom parts are getting any oil. So you have two ways to blow an engine there. So one of your options is an oil a catch can. And what ends up happening with the catch can though, once the catch can fills up, it's gonna suck through the PCB also. So it's almost like a, a band-aid system. But so this company, this is what we're gonna get into today, called RM Engineering, they devised this system, right? Which I think is pretty smart and it works pretty good for what I want. You know, it helps to avoid a blown engine on any type of steep climbs or steep hills or big slopes. Um, and that is basically, you're gonna get a billet oil cap. This is really nice, by the way, good quality. Um, and then this hose, right? With pretty standard AN fitting. So what ends up happening is basically you're going to tie this into here. And then this is gonna go into the side that is underneath uh, the intake. Uh, and then this closes off and shuts off the regular PCV system. Should be a pretty quick install. Um, I really don't think the kit is very expensive. Uh, I also believe that it's worth every penny if it saves an engine. I think it's like 65 bucks. Uh, I think the billet silver one. Um, I liked it, thought it looked good. Um, put some photos of, of what the smoke looks like and the inclines these individuals are at. Um, I know for me, like when I go wheeling, I have like a drop dead time. If I'm sit sitting at an obstacle at a bad angle for like a minute, the truck gets shut off. I, I don't leave it running because I don't want to have any of these issues. I also have, I put a photo of it. I put a little gauge on the inside of my truck. So if I'm anywhere around 30 degrees um, sloped over to e either side, I won't do more than a minute. Normally for me, it's only when I'm waiting um, to do an obstacle uh, that I'm sloped over for that long, just kind of sitting there idling. I don't let it idle, I'll shut it off. So I'll put that photo up for you here. And then here's a couple photos of what the smoke is gonna look like from, you know, this happens to individuals out there. And if I put you in this video, let me know down below, I'll shoot you a credit and make sure you know, uh, everybody knows who you are. A lot of this information you can find on Tacoma World. Like right now I'm reading just a post from Reddit this one was from, it's actually from three years and I go, it's about an individual who knows that went through this to where the PCV just sucked up too much oil, no oil down at the bottom. Um, so yeah, let me get you over into the truck. Should be a pretty quick install. Um, let me get you over there. We'll get it started. Uh, I'll be right back when I set you up by the truck. All right, what up guys? Let's see how this is going to work out. So I'm going to just kind of, let me just do this. I'm going to bring you in right here. Your PVC is going to be underneath this guy. Mine's all beat up. Nobody really knows what this does. Somebody someplace said this was like sound deadening, but who knows? Right there, right where that little clip is. We're gonna undo that clip and then we're gonna move this hose and this hose runs if you, let me see if I can do this, so. All right, so here it is right here on the intake side. I'm gonna follow it over with this big fat hose in my way. Another hose in the way. I promise we're gonna get there in one second. I'm fighting all this junk. And then there it is, right there. That clip right there is where the hose goes. There's your PPC valve. That's what you need to remove. Well, whatever you can use uh, to get it off, I'm using just a big old needle nose pliers. It's pretty long because it's in there pretty deep. Okay. 
so that one's off too it's actually like a good check sometimes you could look in here and there's been some people that'll actually have like a ton of oil in it so that's off so the next thing we're gonna do first is we're gonna cap off the valve there with one of these so like it comes in the kids little vacuum line cap and then the it comes with a hose clamp for you too and by the way I feel like whoever made these hold clamps with the flat heads needs to get punched in the nuts, okay? They should not have flats. It should only be the nut driver or Phillips. Stop making any of these with the flats, people. And get my fat fingers in here. Oof, we made it. All right, like that, I like where that is. Perfect. And now, I'm gonna tighten it up a little. Now, let me switch it up because what I want to do now, let me move you over here a little. Perfect. Now you're really in my fucking way. It's great. I told you it was great being a YouTube guy. They lied to you. All right, let's pop the oil cap off. I'm telling you, mine's really tight because I got so much going on in here. Let's pop this one off. Sweet custom. I'm gonna put this one on. Perfect. I wanna get the line. When you when you route the line, just make sure you have this on here and make sure you set it up so that like it points at you so that it's not like pointing towards the engine and you can actually. So right now I'm just screwing this on. This AN fitting was 11 16s. I like that. Now. I'm gonna run this down in here like this. I'm gonna come behind, behind these hoses here, like that. Find the port, there's the port. Shove that shit in there. Nice, nice and easy, just like that. I'm gonna put the hose up, the hose clamp. And slide it up a little bit. It's a little low. All right, I don't like that. I'm gonna move this up a little bit, like here. Perfect. Now we gotta get in here and tighten that shit. <clears throat> All right, guys, just like that, we're done. Let's get a quick look so you can see where that's what the billet looks like. I know, like, there's a lot going on here. I had to shoehorn the 31 in here because my fenders are so beat up on the inside here. It was tight in here. And now, if you look back in here, see, it's if you can look back in there, it's capped off now. And then the hose is running from it right here back into uh, the pan. So we should have, in theory, no issues now being on high slopes. Still worried about it. Still don't like it. Still going to do my one minute, uh, you know, time lapse. I will not do more than like a minute to two um, at a steep angle. But hey, this should help out our M engineering quality parts. If you guys have any questions or you need anything, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. You guys be good. Stay safe out there.